New tonight, Birmingham Southern College's president is talking to us exclusively about a new study showing his school brings in nearly $100 million in economic impact to the state each year. And this is all coming, of course, as campus leaders are hoping the state will give them $37 million to avoid closing. Lauren Jackson joins us now with what this could mean for students if the college doesn't get this funding and why they think the study can help, Lauren. Yeah, Jonathan Morgan, Birmingham Southern's president, tells me it'll be a few weeks before they learn if they can stay open or not and that is leaving a big question mark in the air for students and faculty. Frankly, we're running out of money and running out of time. After more than 10 years of operating under financial strain, Birmingham Southern College may have to close its doors after this semester. If we don't get the funds, I don't believe there will be a semester in the fall. What we're asking for is approximately 37, but it would fill a gap for three years and that would enable us to raise, continue to raise about 200 million in private funds and we're about 25 percent of the way there. President Daniel Coleman tells me raising tuition isn't an option to bring in more money and being chartered as a public school instead of a private institution wouldn't change much financially for them either. All that does is mean that we ask for money from the state every year and uh, I don't think that's really what a lot of other public institutions want to see us doing. So I don't see that as an alternative. Coleman says he believes they qualify for $12 million of federal tax money allocated to the state and are hoping to get the rest from a state education fund. The other place we've discussed is, it, is the surplus, the Education Trust Fund. We're looking at about 0.7% of the surplus. And, and our ask would be a one-time ask of about $17.5 million. And while he says they're doing everything they can to stay open, they're meeting with each student one-on-one -on -one to come up with a plan in case they need to transfer. Our students are, are focused on the moment and focused on enjoying college. They know that in six to eight weeks or some period of time, there may be some big decisions. And we're sitting down with every single student because every single student has different needs, starting with our juniors who are halfway through their majors and trying to outline to them if we don't make it what they need to do and by when and where they can complete their major and what would be a good fit for them. Now I asked President Coleman if there was any possibility of the college filing for bankruptcy and he says that likely won't happen. He says they're also still getting in hundreds of new applications for the upcoming potential fall semester. Jonathan Moore.